see how things are going to be. I mean, we've been very lucky compared to all of that other stuff, but I know we do have some movement coming. Yeah, we've got some things changed. Boy, the ski resorts out west got to be loving all the snow they're getting. Uh, across parts of the deep south, big storm potential. Our radar not super active just yet. I see a couple of sprinkles offshore. They're trying to lift a little bit more north. These are way out ahead of that boundary, that cold front that's going to try to give us our chance for some showers and maybe some thunderstorms later later on today, but it's many hours away in some spots, maybe more than 12 hours away. So we have all day to watch and see how it all goes. And as much as this energy is moving north, I think we're looking at some scattered showers. Probably that's all. It's 69 degrees at the Tallahassee Airport this morning. It's 65 in Valdosta. Pretty good breeze out there. That is going to be the most noticeable thing throughout the day today as we are watching and waiting for the showers to get here. It's going to be windy, I think, from start to finish. We've got the wind advisory that's going to go till 10 o'clock tonight. 67 degrees at Mariana and at Bainbridge and at Camilla. Also 67 in Perry. It's a little cooler up at Homerville where it's 63 or Tifton where it's 62, but a lot of numbers mid 60s and up. Here are those breezes mostly from straight south to north and like 5 to 15 miles per hour, but it's a little breezier at Apalachicola and we'll see the wind shift a little bit more southwest and perk up. A lot of us are going to be in that 12 to 24 mile per hour wind range later on today. With the wind, the fog is not going to be too, too noticeable. A couple of spots to the east have had a little fog already this morning and we likely could find some more. This is the energy that we're talking about. This is what brought some of the real dangerous weather to parts of the south. Check out some of this video from Shreveport Louisiana yesterday and last night. If you look off in the distance there where these big clouds are, we'll see the funnel clouds sort of coming down from it. So some real dangerous stuff associated with this energy that's dragging this boundary all the way down to the Gulf Coast. But for our area with that energy moving quickly to the north, I think all we're going to get is the trailing southern extension and that likely means we get some scattered showers and that's probably all. Yeah, we could still get a rumble of thunder, but I don't think we're going to be talking about the big time weather around here and throughout the day today. We may have to wait till five, six, seven, eight o'clock to get those showers moving across the area. Eastern spots, maybe even later than that. So a lot of patience today if you're looking for some of that rain. We still have that marginal risk, so the chance is there for a couple of bigger storms but it really does feel like most of the bigger weather is going to stay to our north and to our west. Got the gale warning on the Gulf for those windy conditions. South and southwest winds 20 to 30 knots with gusts, maybe up over 40. This morning is starting to get a little bit breezy. It's going to get breezier later this morning. 60s, 70s still likely become low to mid 80s this afternoon. I've got the rain chances like 50 or 60 percent, but I feel like a lot of us are going to do a lot of waiting today until those showers actually get here, maybe this evening or tonight. And even then they may be a little underwhelming. Hopefully we'll get a nice little soaking out of it. Upper 50s tonight, so starting to clear, starting to cool. Take a look at this forecast over the next few days. We could be near the 50 80 split all weekend and into the early part of next week. So a lot of really pleasant and a little bit drier with that change in wind direction, but we got to get through today's watching, waiting, humid, windy, the hiccup first.